Hey guys, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different this week and I'm going to set up my budget planner with you. So let's go ahead and get started. But actually, you know what? Before we do that, first, let me say welcome. <laughs> If you're new, welcome back. If you're returning again, my name is Brandy Janae. And on this channel, we do planning, planner related things, hauls, uh, reviews, etc., as well as some beginner budgeting because I am a beginner budgeter. So before I start with this, though, I want to show you, I actually want a giveaway, you guys. I'm so excited. I want a giveaway that Lily Budgets was doing, and I will link her channel down in the description box. But Lily Budgets, I found her channel not too long ago, uh, but she is a budgeter. I believe she says she lives in Arizona, and she's fairly young, <laughs> which is, you know, definitely nice. And I'm always happy to see all of the younger people, like, figuring these things out because... I'm getting ready to be 40 and I'm just now deciding that you should probably start a budget. So <laughs> I'm always excited to see, you know, the 20 somethings uh, that are really serious about their finances and serious about their budgeting. So she is one of the people that I follow. She had this giveaway not too long ago for, I believe, 5,000 subscribers and I entered the giveaway and I won. So one of the things I won was a $25 Amazon gift card, which she did send to me via email, which is so amazing. But then I also won this super cute binder, which she does sell on her Etsy shop. So it's this cute like suede kind of leathery thing. I don't know. It's really pretty though. Oh, I'm getting fingerprints on. I just put lotion on. But anyway, it's really cute. And she sent me the envelopes, of course, to go with it. So it's the A6 size envelopes. So I am able to personalize them, which is awesome. And then it also just comes with this cute little sheet of stickers. And here is her card, Lily Budgets. So go check her shop out. Also, don't forget to go check her out on Instagram and youtube and etsy so there's her information and then she sent me this little freebie which is super cute it's like a 500 hundred dollar placeholder and i think it's so 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 cute so thank you lily if you happen to watch this video i truly appreciate it sorry it took so long for me to do this i totally forgot so better late than never though right so which also brings me to the fact that I am finally almost at a thousand. I think the last time I checked, I had like four subscribers left. So I'm going to go ahead and just prepare for my 1K giveaway. And so for my 1K giveaway, which I am officially announcing right now, you will receive a binder from me as well, a budgeting binder, because this is a very important part of my life right now. And so I want for everyone to start the journey, whether you're a cash envelope stuffer or not. I want everybody to get more serious about their finances and their budgeting if you already are not doing so. So for my giveaway, I will be giving away one of these binders. Um, you can get the front customized if you would like. And then I will also be sending you some customized envelopes that will look like this one, which is the correct one, but I will give you some customized envelopes. So if you win, you'll get six of them. So if you win, I will reach out to you and then, um, well, no, rather I'll have you reach out to me and then you'll give me all of your customization information and I will get that sent out to you. And I'm always going to, I'm also going to throw in a bonus surprise, but you won't find out what that is unless you win. So I will give you more information on how to enter this giveaway towards the end of the video. So don't leave. All right. So now what we came for. So again, this is my budgeting planner. I am using an A5 notebook from Erin Condren. And all I did was took the notebook. I glued a calendar in. Oops, I'm trying to find the calendar page. Oh, I'm on it. I 
printed a calendar that I purchased on Etsy and on sticker paper. And I went ahead and stuck that inside the planner. And so now I have my, like a planner, like an A5 size planner. Now I am working with someone and I hope that she's able to do it just because I cannot, for whatever reason, I cannot get this whole printing double-sided thing to work. I don't know if it's just my printer or if it's user error or what's happening, but I can't, I can't get it to work. So I do have someone that I'm talking to, to see if they can make an A5 size calendar with just line pages, because I know there are a lot of people in the budgeting community that prefer this size planner, but so far to my knowledge, no one <laughs> is making an A5 planner with just the calendar view. They're making like the notebooks or, you know, whatever. But to my knowledge, no one has an A5 planner with just a monthly calendar and then line pages. So I am trying to work on that. Hopefully it'll get done. So the first thing I like to do is set up, I'm gonna take this out of here. Oh, and then this thing is, this cover is from Notique. It's just one that I had and I just love it. So I throw it in the rotation every once in a while. But yeah, so, all right, I'm gonna sit down now. I've been, I don't know why I always stand up. It's just a habit. All right, so the first thing I do is write out my, monthly expenses and then income I put the date the source just in case <laughs> all right and then I know this month Payday is, I believe it's also on the 10th and the 24th. Yes. March is, March and February are so weird that it's like the same dates. All right. And then I always put 1,900 as my income from work. It is different than that. It's never lower than that, but it is usually higher than that. But the money that is left over, I just leave in my account for like a buffer just in case. So then I like to break mine up into categories. And I'm not going to bore you with all of the numbers, but I just kind of wanted to show you how I do this. So I have for housing, I do my renter's insurance. I'm going to wait for that to dry. Oh, I'll just write internet. <laughs> my internet, my insurance, and my iPad just died on me. And then water, sewer, and trash are the bills that I pay in the house. Then I uh, do like food related things <laughs> and oh that line is really bad so I have an Amazon subscription and this is for my protein shakes I do subscribe to hello fresh and then of course I have to add in my Starbucks, because Starbucks for me is a line item. Then I put in my credit cards. I really should like change the order of these things, but whatever. So Amazon, AKA Chase, which always messes me up. PayPal. I did switch to 
sorry my desk is shaking i don't know if you guys can see that but i switched to a uh, my printer is also doing something crazy it's really early it's literally 5 57 in the morning so yeah but i switched to an erasable pen because this is one of those pilot friction pens because i'm always messing up somewhere um and then i have my phone and one of the cool things about this is that my i should have just made this category say debt anyway one of the cool things about this is that my with the debt payoffs my sections are shrinking <laughs> because um you know i'm paying off cards or debt or whatever so that's really cool um and then so that's pretty much what i use for this side and i'll go in and fill the amounts in later and then over here i put in my subscriptions which i may eventually just for the sake of having all these sections combine the food one with this one i don't know amazon prime i don't know what my printer is doing you guys patch aid which is a uh, bariatric multivitamin that i have to take then planning city which of course is my planning planner, one of my planner subscriptions, HP, Apple One, Patreon, and I do only have one of those. And then I had to resubscribe to Cricut because I am using um some of their fonts for my cash envelopes. And so when I went to go and do an Etsy order the other day, it was like, you, I would have had to have paid <laughs> for that particular font. So I'm like, mm, I'm not gonna do that. I'll just go back. Although it probably would have been cheaper for me to just pay for that particular font instead of you know, continuing to pay a monthly subscription, but I don't know. I may revisit that at a later time. There are other perks though to have in Cricut, so I don't know. I might just leave it. At one point, I was like getting rid of all of my uh, subscriptions, <laughs> and so I might have gotten a little overzealous. at that time all right so and then my last category is other and i have church ato which is my sorority we have girls day and then I do have a personal loan. So yeah, I'm thinking I might, now that I'm doing this again, I might do leave housing alone. I'm probably gonna combine the food and those subscriptions and just leave them all as one thing. Even though Starbucks isn't really a subscription, but I feel like that's gonna work out where I'll combine these two. This one, I'll just put debt in general and then leave the rest of them as they are, I think. I don't know. We'll see. I have time. All right. So first I get this set up. So as you can see, this doesn't have any dates or anything on it, but I like to just kind of have like an overview of everything and then the amounts. Um, and then this is also where I will notate like what I have to transfer over to my other accounts instead of um, paying out of my primary savings or checking account. So that is what this page is for. And then for these pages, I basically take 
my check. So this would be 10 March to 23 March. I write the date. Mm. Expense amount, and then I put a little sticker after it to notate that it has, in fact, been taken from my account. So I did not do this, I can't find the line. All right, we're just gonna we'll get it close enough. All right. All right, and that's going to be straight enough and I don't ever have this many bills but <laughs> it doesn't go all the way down but I just draw the lines all the way down just for the sake of doing something and so then at this point I would take my calendar find the 10th so I know I have to pay car insurance that's not 210 that should be 310 then I also have to pay the hospital bill, which I'm still very bitter about, but you know, life goes on. And then on the 11th, the 12th, I hope I'm still in frame. <laughs> 15, 16, Fresh. I don't know what's rocking on my desk either. I got a lot going on, you guys. This credit one, two, five, five, nine. I think that's the one, if I'm not mistaken. Let me make sure. I feel like that's the one that I should. Oh, nope. I'm writing it down wrong. Okay, so three, one, four, five five is the one that I am getting ready to pay off because it's February. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Okay. Three, one. Let me make sure one more time. <laughs> yes. Okay. So that's the one I'm getting ready to pay off. So, all right. I'm trying to make sure I don't write that down. All right. So Hello Fresh was on the 16th. And then the 18th, uh, you know what? I don't know. Yeah. Plus HP ink. And then 323 again is... Hello Fresh, and I am, I'm not gonna do, uh, I'll put Starbucks on the next check. I'm not gonna put it on the this one because I am anticipating some Starbucks gift cards for my birthday, which is on March 1st. So I'm going to assume. <laughs> that I will be getting those. All right, and so then down here, I also like to just make myself a note that on 310 
groceries, gas, and this is money that I will, I don't want to put groceries. I like to put household because I don't really separate those two things. That's driving me crazy. All right, I don't really separate those two things. So, but I do like to put $60 here and we're gonna do $60 here. That'll be on 310 and then because uh, this gets transferred. All right, and then I basically do the same thing for the other side, but I'm not going to bore you with that. <laughs> um, so I'll fill that in. And then last but not least, I do set up my cash envelopes. And then I separate this into three categories, basically. Mm, that looks straight enough. All right, so up here I have Paycheck one, and this is paycheck two, and this would be my wallet. So in my wallet, I have household, I have beauty, food, miscellaneous. And then I have my short term envelope, which would be birthdays or I don't know, short term sinking funds, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Travel, planners, Christmas. Uh, like crops or planner meetups or whatever, clothes, car maintenance, and giving. This is one binder. All right, and then my more like long term sinking funds. I keep bills because I would like to be a month ahead eventually. If not this year, then for sure next year. Debt, medical. Car and my envelope. That's for like business, personal growth, etc. And then my last category. Are any challenges? that I'm doing and I really want to add some new challenges. So I gotta hurry up and get this um, sinking funds ones done. Envelopes, whoa. Um, I have the March challenge that I created in my Etsy shop and then the sinking funds I'm trying not to do although I do pretty much just use my challenges for debt I am trying not to do too many of them at once just because I don't want to get like 
overwhelmed with <laughs> new challenges. So there is that. And then the last page is my debt tracker. And I always put like the amount due here and then debt beginning balance and then ending balance. And I just basically check this like once a month. So PayPal, and that is it. And then I skip a few lines, put the total, and then write myself a little note to let me know how much I paid off. And that, oh, and then, okay, so this one's new. So I did make an unbudgeted <laughs> expenses. I just did this last time because yeah your girl was just doing too much um because i've even though i sat down and like really thought about this i forgot like valentine's day <laughs> and i am a preschool teacher so yeah so date let's put um what did i put on here Mm, date. Uh, what else do I need to know? Expense. like on the other one the reason why but I probably don't need to maybe I'll put like a category so if it was for like food or household or an event or something I'll notate that there holiday or you know whatever the case may be i'll notate that over there all right but yeah i did go ahead and add that this last month because i don't really keep track of well i wasn't keeping track of unbudgeted expenses but then i realized like those really do start to add up and i need to know so that i can do better about like getting my budget together to plan better for those unbudgeted things. Some things obviously you can't budget for, like it just happens, but I need to be better prepared for, you know, extra stuff. Like I said, Valentine's Day, typically, uh, you know, I, as a teacher, you, you buy snacks for your class or you buy extra Valentine's Day cards or whatever the situation is, but you do that. And so I didn't think about that, so I didn't. Um, so yeah, anyway. 
but that is how I set up my planner for the month and I'll go through and fill in the numbers and all that stuff later but I just wanted to let you know so anyway back to giveaway time this video is already super long I'm sorry but back to video or giveaway time so the only thing literally the only thing you have to do to enter into this giveaway is you must be 18 you must live in the United States and I want you to leave a comment below to let me know what your savings goal is for 2023 so that's it that's it i'm sorry step one you should subscribe to my channel <laughs> be an active subscriber <laughs> be 18 years or older live in the united states and leave me a comment below letting me know what your savings goal for 2023 is that's it you'll be entered into the giveaway i will announce this winner shortly after I reach 1000 subscribers. So hopefully that'll be sooner rather than later, but I will remind you in my next budgeting video so that, you know, we can catch some new people so that when I actually hit a thousand, everybody can participate. So thank you so much for sticking in with me this long. I hope you enter into the giveaway and be safe, be well, and I'll catch you in my next video.